What is up, Mayfield Fish Masters? And today, we got a video for you, and we are gonna be showing you guys all of my soft plastics that I use while fishing that you guys will see me using. Um, so, like I said in the last video, uh, my Bass Pro one didn't upload, and then Landon got demonetized, and I, I got most of these there, but I did have a couple. And so, well, let's just get started into it. And so, the first uh, bait I got was, I got this in a mystery tackle box is some big bite baits pro series swimming craw they're kind of weird honestly like it's the weirdest colored craw i've ever seen in my life like th there's that color and then they're all mixed in and then there's like a green it's kind of it's really neat but so some big bite baits nice little baits next up we do have some Gugan mondo worms these are 10 inch mondo worms. They're like pl the, the plum color and they're just really nice. Uh, I've actually caught a couple fish on them, which is really nice. So just some nice little baits to have. And then I got these in a mystery tackle box. Never heard of this brand until it's called Cream. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's my dog growling because Landon's messing with her. Why don't you know that guys? Look, oh, she, just, she just ran on the ground. If the camera angle was kind of bad, it was because I was holding it upside down. So sorry about that, guys. I didn't know if you guys, I didn't see if you guys could see her, but she was ground. She's like, Ugh. but back to the fast part. Um, we got some cream, which I've never heard of until the mystery tackle box. And these almost, they're green pumpkin and they're called speed screamers. I don't think me or Landon have ever seen these in the world. <laughs> no. Yeah, like they're kind of, they're really weird, like really weird. It has like a fluke body with yeah. appendages all over. Yeah. Here. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the camera real quick back so you guys can kind of see Landon. So it's up to the camera. Okay. All right, guys. And next up, I have some Gugan 3.8 uh, Saucy Swimmers. Really nice color. They're green gizzard shad color these co this color kills an orange guys yes it does guys in matter of fact so i lost chatterbait and i had this on called my pv today guys i did too I think on that trailer jig on the same jig with that same trailer which is nice and then i got some never heard of these either until i got a mystery tackle box once you know that vertical lure tubes so i like these little tubes for smallmouth they're hollow inside or for smallmouth, like he said, and which is nice because he is taking me to Bull Shoals Lake and we're going smallmouth fishing. Woo he's gonna catch his PB. He's never caught a smallmouth. Never caught a smallmouth, guys. And then I got some uh, Bass Pro Sticko Worm. Uh, there's 16 in a pack, and they're black and blue flake uh, Sankos. What people call them stick worms. Just a nice little bait to have in case you like use it. And actually, so. We're gonna give a shout out to Mark. Mark, thank you for letting us use your kayak today. Uh, that's what we actually caught both of our PVs on. His was on shore, mine was in the kayak. Thank you for letting us use uh, your kayak. And then next up, we got some Guggen Saucy Swimmers 3.3 inch. These are, hold on, sexy shimmer color. Really nice. Don't demonetize us, you dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, power bait. There's some power bait drop trout worms. They're in a different package. I was looking at that. And I was like, wait, that doesn't look right. They're in a different package because my other package like broke these, and so I just replaced them with a new pack, like a better package. I like, get ripped. And then, well, these are actually really nice. They're smart bait. Uh, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and they're also available on Amazon. These are really cool baits, guys. So they're color changing baits due to the temperature of the water. Okay, guys, these would be really, really good on these little like football head hooks I got. They're like this big and they're really nice. They're not like the little ones with the eyes are different. I bought them for the Ned Rigs, but then I got this and I was like, oh yeah. Nice little curly tail. I have not used these guys yet and I do not have footage of what they look like underwater when they do it. But we will try we will try to. I will try to. So and I wanna I'd like to tell you guys something. We 
might start be using a GoPro on our chest mounts. Well, because we like thought about it, maybe make better content videos for you guys because we need to make better content for you guys. Not necessarily content, but better video quality. So yeah, we're gonna probably be using a GoPro. Next up, we have some, these are not big bite baits. The package, I don't know where the package went for these, but they're Zoom Flukes. They're watermelon flake Zoom Flukes. They're not the Z-Man Flukes. Got some nice little flukes. And if you guys want to know a good tip about flukes is if you ever go to a pond where they hand feed them sometimes with fish, you're going to get that color, same color of fish. Put it on a little hook, pop it in there right at the top water. Big bass will get it. It's just really nice. These are missile baits, uh, D bomb. These, wait, wait, these, sorry, these colors are super bug. Really nice bait. I like these little things on the side. Really cool. It's like a blue and then there's like a green. I don't know if you guys can see that. Which is really nice. It's good because it kind of gets the bass attention. They if they like see one color and they're like, why is that why is that matching? And they'll see the other one and they're like, oh that's that good to eat. Next up we got some Berkeley Power Bait. These are green pumpkin. And they're like basically D bombs, but different brand. Just a nice little one. I sometimes I put these like because they're tiny, so I put them on some really like a, I have this really I have this tiny jig that this would be perfect on, which is really nice. Still not even halfway through, guys. Sorry, six minutes in. All right, guys. Next up, we got some Bandito Bugs Okeechobee Craw Color. Got these at Bass Pro. Not Bass Pro, Dick's Sporting Goods, actually. And then I got some Canadian Crawl Rattling Ned 8-pack. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it makes a little rattle really nice. Tracks the fish's attention. And if it's a worm, like worms you work way better and stuff, so that's always nice. And then we have a Saw Craw. Oh, it's by Catch Co, guys. Max action, uh, 10, fish. oh, yeah, 10,000 fish, right? Infused scent and salt. It's like it's a big crawl, really, really nice. I have not used them, I have probably haven't used half of these soft plastics. And next up, guys, this is my money bag. I have no clue why, but I know this is video about soft plastics. But I have a trash master jig, <laughs> I just put it in there because we're going fishing on the kike, not want to bring my whole tackle box. Because I don't, if we flipped, that would have been bad, but we didn't flip. So I just put a jig in there. And then we have Z Man 10 times tough um, flukes. Um, the deal is the color. All right, guys. You guys saw the other flukes barely stretched. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. 0% plastic. Zero. Like you said. Landon, actually tell us again. There is 0% plastic in this. So if that. You get, lose that in the water. If the fish eat it, they're they're not going to be harmed as much as real plastic, which is amazing because you don't want to harm those big bass. You want to catch those big bass and release those big bass. All right, guys. So this is a nice semen flukes. All right, next up, I got some Kraken Craw Blue Baby Color. Really nice little. Uh, Package. You can see. If, I don't know if you can see that. How they can work there. Like, yeah. Kind of more translucent blue. Yeah. All right. Then we got some summer craw bandito bugs. Another gugan bait. Bought a lot of gugan baits. They were actually like six bucks at Bass Pro in this big bin. I was like, oh, score. And then we got some cracking craw watermelon red flake. Um, excuse me. Um, oh yeah, I already said crack and crawl. Uh, they're really nice baits. I'd like to teach you while I already showed you them. All right, guys, and then next up, I have some trench hogs, Bamba Bug color trench hogs. Okay, guys, if you guys are not wondering, they're humongous. Like, these are huge. Like, no bass in our pond, I don't think, will eat these. Like, they're massive. Like, these are massive. 
I've gotten one fish on a black and blue one. You got one fish, just one. And there's like probably I'm gonna say about a hun over a hundred bass in that pond. Not big though. Yeah, there are some big. I think uh, um, me and him are gonna go fishing. What are these? Me and him are gonna go fishing. Um, pre-spawn, sorry, pre-spawn, and maybe catch uh, catch the mamas. All right. Next up, we got some Chambler Go Fish Flapping Shad. Okay, guys. This is like a fluke style paddle tail bait combination, guys. Look, look at that. That doesn't that look like a fluke? Like that body looks like a fluke. It's actually really nice. It's kind of that's really cool. I got these in Amy Street Tech Box too. I could smell those from here. Yes. I don't know. They're that's all it says is popping shot. Literally nothing else. What the scent is nothing. I'm guessing salt and pepper because it smells kind of bad in garlic. All right, guys, next up, we got some Gugan Bait Lunker Log 5 inches. They're watermelon red flake. Really nice. Uh, they call them Lunker Logs, but I normally call them Senkos. Just really nice. They're like not that big worms, but they do do the job. And if you guys are like, you okay, Millie? She was choking on something. Yeah. Can you get her real quick? She's eating. She's eating something. Can't stop the video for you. No, I'm kidding. I love my dog. I'll stop anything for her. But we have some Lunker Log World and Road Flake, just some Senkos. Really nice, really nice, really nice. Next up, we got some Drag and Drop Murky Minnow. Really cool. They got like this belly and stuff. For wacky rigging mm -hmm. and drop shotting. And guys, you guys want to know something funny today? My mom goes, No, why do you have glitter in your hair? And my brother goes, Oh. Probably because his fishing bait. Yeah, he's right. And guys, we will have my brother on the channel in a video. I promise you that he will be in a video. Next, Next up, we got some lake. Wait, what were you going to say? Sorry. Expect the Bull Shoals video in about two weeks to a month. We're going to do an underwater pool video on how to use baits and what yeah. they look like. Yes. It's gonna be sick. Yes, and we're gonna show the baits that we are using and we might have filming of us on a boat, guys. Us on a boat, isn't that gonna be lit? It's gonna be sick. All right, next up we got some Lake Fork trophy lures. So, I actually got two packs of these. Got this color and this darker color. And if you guys don't know by now, they say to Texas rig these. But my little secret is in this pond, hook that sucker right through the middle, goes along the shore, wacky rig that, mm, beautiful. That's just God in our pond. So have those two. Those smell too bad, really bad. All right, guys. This is our last lure in here. All right, guys. So I'm going to tell you a story about these lures. All right, guys. So there's these crappy lures called blue ice. They're by this like crappie brand. It's green and it has a picture of a crappie in red and stuff. And well, this brand um, makes some really good crappie jigs. And well, I use them at the lake and I catch tons of crappie. Um, and well, I, these caught my eye. I saw them. I mean, but the ones that we use for crappie are little. I mean, they're not this big. So I, I got some Cabela's. They didn't realize they were until like now. <laughs> I just grabbed them because they look good. They look juicy. And they're really slimy. Like, really slimy. It like fell off my hand. And they're like little paddle tails and they kind of remind me of fluke body. It's like a paddle tail fluke. Only thing that sucks about these. They're so thin. They are so thin, guys. Like, it's, it's the hardest thing in the world to Texas rig these. Like, you have to put it in, and then, like, it's literally skinnier than a Texas hook. Like, the bottom. It probably looks wider on camera, but it's not. And, all right, guys. And then the last thing that I want to talk about. Oh, my God. Last thing that I want to talk about is what I store these in, guys. So, I store these in a Guggen Squad money bag these up for about $11. Yeah, $11 at Bass Pro, guys, which is really good. 
So these bags are actually waterproof, zipper proof, and like seal proof. And they're really cool. Um, I'm not gonna say the name that the brand that makes them these I do not know if that got us demonetized but you can find these at your local Dick's Sporting Goods uh, local Bass Pro local Cabela's uh, you can find them online I don't know if they have them on Amazon I think they don't but there's just a nice nice bag to carry while kayak fishing I will say that because you're always wondering oh my god please don't please don't let my bag fall in the water then I grab it or please don't let my backpack or tackle box fall in the water well this does it right for you and it's thick it's not like some cheap plastic it's like some thick plastic shout out to Gugan's bot on that and well and Bass Mafia I'm just gonna say it I don't even care but um it's nice it's a nice bag and well, I love Guggen baits. I love their saucy swimmers. Probably my favorite bait they have. And well, guys, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope you guys still stay positive. I hope you guys do well during this Corona stuff. And well, I just wish you a good luck. So, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.